Who needs to guarantee or sign for the loan then? Okay, when we look at an application, we want to know who owns the business. We need to know by percentages. If it's a one person owns 100% of it, obviously the owner is going to sign the, mm -hmm. uh, the business. Uh, most businesses are either corporations, LLCs, uh, uh, whatever the structure is. We say that anybody that owns 20% or more of that company needs to also sign the note, needs to guarantee the loan. Mm -hmm. How much information then do you require about the people who are part of the business, the, but the partners, the owners of the business? I understand that for such a good deal as an SBA-backed loan, you need to sign your life away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're, you're back. Not only do you have to guarantee it, but w the bank and the SBA is also, also going to ask for available collateral. And so uh, it depends on, on the collateral, the assets that are available. Yes, we could ask those guarantors to also pledge additional collateral. But uh, now one thing that I will say is that the SBA will never deny a loan if the only thing missing was collateral. Once the borrower has pledged whatever they have, we will not deny a loan if they're just missing collateral. Or as a financial institution could make it say, we are not going to make the loan because you have insufficient collateral. Mm -hmm. we, we at the SBA look at the cash flow. Will this payment, this loan, probably be paid back. Does the firm have the potential to repay the loan and not collateral first? So even though we look at collateral and even though we do require collateral, that is not the first thing that we look at.